you probably bought those baby clothes because the label said organic. But here's the catch. That doesn't mean they're free of hormone disruptors or carcinogens. The fact is you could be dressing your baby every day in chemicals without even knowing it. I'm Dr. Yvonne Burkhart, a toxicologist. I've spent decades studying how everyday chemicals impact our health. In this video, I'll break down the misleading labels and show you how to find truly safe, affordable baby clothes. So you can protect your child, shop with confidence, and stop second guessing every purchase. You already worry about what goes into your baby's mouth, but have you thought about what goes on their skin? Here's why it matters. A baby's skin is about 30% thinner than an adult's. That means it's more permeable and more absorbent. So when chemicals sit on clothing, they don't just stay there. They can make their way into the bloodstream and babies don't have fully developed detox systems yet. Their liver and kidneys are still maturing, so even small exposures can build up faster and linger longer. Let's talk about labels. That onesie says 100% organic cotton, but it's bright pink, buttery soft, and it's wrinkle-free? Here's the part most people miss. Organic cotton only describes how the cotton was grown, not what happened after harvest. Once the cotton is picked, it can be bleached with chlorine, dyed with heavy metals, and treated with wrinkle resistant finishes that contain formaldehyde, the same chemical used for embalming. And none of that has to be disclosed. That's why organic cotton isn't a guarantee of safety. It's marketing, or as I call it, greenwashing. So how do you know what's actually safe? First, look for third-party certifications. The gold standard is GOTS, the Global Organic Textile Standard. It checks both how the cotton is grown and how the fabric is processed. That means no azo dyes, no formaldehyde, no heavy metals. So it covers the entire supply chain. And there are two types, made with organic with at least 70% organic fibers and organic, which is 95% organic fibers. The other option is OCS or organic content standard. It's not as strict, but it's still helpful and Okotex, which now certifies organic cotton too. And for kids' pajamas, make sure to look for that big yellow tag that says it was not treated with flame retardants. And here are some words that should set off alarms next time you're shopping. Wrinkle resistant, stain resistant, and flame retardant. These almost always mean chemical coatings. Also look out for PFAS, formaldehyde, flame retardants. These residues don't wash out and they keep transferring to your baby's skin even after washing. So if you see those words, put that onesie back. If you don't wanna research every single company yourself, not to worry because here are a few vetted options. I'll go ahead and tag them in this video and also be sure to check the description for any coupon codes to help you save money. Burt's Bees and Honest Baby, these have affordable basics and also pajamas. We love Primary for their colorful options. We like to grab some of their organic cotton PJs during Black Friday. And you can also check out Hannah Anderson for organic clothes for kids up to age 14. Mightly is one of our favorite brands. It has some budget friendly as well as GOTS certified organic cotton picks. Colored Organics is amazing for babies and toddlers up to age five. And Quince has affordable certified basics for the whole family, but be sure no matter where you're buying from, always check for the fabric content. If you're in store, make sure you flip the garment inside out and look for the little tag that tells you what types of fabrics are used to make those garments. It's similar to checking ingredients on foods that you buy or products that you apply to your skin. Don't skip on this one. So no matter your baby's age or your budget, there is a safe brand that fits. What if you already bought baby clothes and you're not sure if they're safe? Here's what you can do. Always wash new clothes before wearing them for the first time. Try soaking your new clothes in baking soda and water. Try warm water if the fabric can handle it for 30 minutes. I like to do this inside the washing machine and then I'll add some vinegar to the rinse cycle. Be sure to skip dryer sheets and fabric softeners because they're loaded with artificial fragrance, hormone disruptors, and petroleum derived greasy substances that just basically coat your clothes. They're not actually softening them. Instead, use wool dryer balls and a fragrance-free detergent instead. These steps won't fix everything, but they can help lift residues from the fabric. We personally like using Pure Haven powder detergent and Blue Land detergent tablets. I know this can feel overwhelming, 
but greenwashing is designed to confuse even the most informed parents. So it's not your fault. But once you know what to look for, you can take your power back and you don't have to toss everything you own. You don't need to spend $80 on boutique onesies. You just need to be intentional with your next step. And remember that organic doesn't always automatically mean that it's safe. Look beyond the claims and make sure you check with the brand, look for the fiber content and look for the certifications because now you know what to look for and you know what to avoid. So you can protect your baby's health without falling for clever marketing tricks. And if you think greenwashing stops in the baby aisle, think again. The same tricks are used in the beauty aisle. They're pretty much used throughout the store and they could be affecting your hormones, fertility, and long-term health without even realizing it. In my next video, I'll show you how to cut through clean beauty lies and finally shop for personal care products with confidence and clarity. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.